This episode of Never Too Small is brought to you by Audible. Loft houses are located in Piermont in Sydney, uh, which is a suburb right next to the city. The loft houses were designed to quietly sit in the street. From the outside they could almost be an old barn and they reflect the neighbouring houses in terms of their scale and roofline. Loft houses used to be two parking spaces on the back of two existing terraces, each owned by different people. They wanted to turn them into single dwellings. On each site the units mirror each other uh, with all the services back to back. Each house sits on an area of 35 square metres. The kitchen, the laundry, the TV unit, the stairs and the bathroom are all contained in a one metre span running the length of the loft houses. Part of designing on an inner city site meant that we needed to do everything we could to get access to light. So at the back of both of the loft houses there's a little rear courtyard which also acts as a light well. The idea behind it is that it can become kind of quite lush and really forms that oasis feel. The light polished concrete floor creates a nice transition from the street into the house and also bounces light through the space. We set up like a warehouse style ceiling which not only contributes to the motif but also increases the ceiling height. The loft houses contain a full-size kitchen with integrated appliances and everything hidden, including the TV, so when you walk off the street, there's a sense of calmness in the space. The kitchen's deeper than your standard kitchen bench. is approximately one metre deep, which allows extra room to prepare food. And that allows for the staircase and the bathroom to slot in the same band. Despite the fact we were restricted in the footprint, we really wanted to create the biggest feeling of space possible. The first floor is set back from the rear wall to create a mezzanine level and allows light from the skylights above to filter through to both levels. We wanted the bathroom to fit in the same depth as the stairs in the joinery unit below it, so as to maximise the floor area of the mezzanine level. We separated the basin from the actual bathroom into the bedroom space. To create a bathroom that's so integrated with the bedroom space, we needed to make sure we could get water away as quickly as possible, so we created a slatted timber floor inside the bathroom space. With the basin and the bedroom space, we set it on a marble bench, and the marble bench is designed at desk height. Behind the marble bench, there's storage, which could be used as like a medicine cabinet storage. So the wardrobe didn't impede on the space too much. We angled it so that the depth of the wardrobe is softened in the room. The building code requires the uprights of a balustrade to be no more than 125 mils apart. So by angling the uprights, we give the illusion of them being spaced further apart, increasing a sense of openness. Having the neighbours come together and doing the same project meant that there were efficiencies in terms of the cost of construction, as well as planning approvals. This project is really designed as an example of a good infill project within our cities. As our cities grow, we're going to have to densify. And this is a way of showing how a small footprint house can be really livable. This episode of Never Too Small is sponsored by Audible. Here at Never Too Small HQ, we are very fond of audiobooks. Over the next few months, we'll be showcasing new projects from across Europe, including Belgium, the Netherlands, Italy, and the UK. 
This means we've been spending a lot of time on planes, so I've had plenty of time to get stuck into some really great audiobooks. Some of our top suggestions include Paul Goldberger's Why Architecture Matters, which is a brilliant listen on how architecture affects us both intellectually and emotionally, and Will Cook's Urban Gardening, a great guide on how to grow food in any city apartment or yard, no matter how small. Go to audible.com slash never too small or text never too small to 500500 and you can get three months of Audible for just $6.95 a month. Choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free. That's more than half off the regular price. This is for a limited time only. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our Never Too Small channel by clicking on the logo and the notification bell to receive updates on our latest episode.